Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another Lou Anime unboxing. Here we have May 2016's box Unity. Um, Unity because, uh, ta-da, as you can see from the new logo on the box, Lou Anime and Crunchyroll are now collaborating with these crates. Um, which I'm kind of like, mm, like I'm ha kind of happy about it. I mean, as we all know, I haven't been too happy with uh, Loot Anime's boxes. I mean, because they're just so random and all over the place. A few I like, a few I just don't. Um, they've had delays and things like that. Um, however, I love Crunchyroll, um, for those of you who have anime subscriptions to them. And I'm hoping that with the new collaboration that the boxes will get even better. Yeah, I know I'm like putting a lot on that hope, but um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, hopefully this new collaboration will work out. So, as I said, this is May 2016's Unity box. Unity, because the two of them together. And um, the box is a bit square, kind of high, bigger than normal. Um, but besides the logo change, you can also see here, it's like bright orange on the side, um, because orange is crunchy rose color. So, yeah, here's the top of the box, guys. And bear with me guys, I'm going to try to get through this fairly quickly because as it's it's not officially summer yet, it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, but as if you're on the East Coast, you know the heat has kicked in. It's already like 90 something degrees outside. It's been like that for days. Um, and I kind of turned off the air just so I wouldn't have that noise in the background for you guys on camera. So I'm getting kind of hot. <laughs> so hopefully we can get through this pretty fast. So yeah, there's a two. Let's open the top. Ah, it's a great mix of colors going on here. Um, let me pan the camera up. Since it's so high, it's a little off. Um, I can only guess what this background is. But you can see like this blue and black lines. And it looks like to be, I don't know what this is fanned out. But it looks like electricity all around it. So, let's see. Uh-oh. Ah, lifting the top. It looks to be a phoenix rising. Hmm, wonder what's that about. So already you can kind of get a peek of what's in the box so far. And it does look like to be some pretty cool items. So I'm going to shift this to the side and we'll get started. Okay guys, I'm really excited right now because I spotted something that seems really fantastic in the box. I can't wait. Um, I'm really, really happy about that. But I decided to start with the poster as I normally do. And bear with me guys because it's pretty big. I think I mentioned that in other videos. So I don't know if I can get it all on camera for you. But here it is. As we see fitting the Unity theme. We have on this side with the purple hair. This is the mascot character for Loot Anime. She doesn't really have a name. And on this side we have Crunchyroll's. Um, I believe her name is there. Crunchyroll's Hime. Um... You can see with her orange hair. So it's the two of them together. Of course, Unity together. Um, and it's in the middle. It seems to be this big, giant fireball kind of thing coming out from the palms of their hands together. Um, kind of a la like uh, Dragon Ball Z, you know? So, uh, hmm, interesting about that. Um, here's just a better picture of this. And you see their hands together. So pretty big. Um, really cute poster. I really like it. I tend to like all the posters on um, for Loot Anime. And this is just an equally good one. Okay, guys, and following up from the poster, we have this month's um, cell phone charm, which comes in every loot anime box, kind of like how Loot Crate has um, in the regular loot crate, they have the box pin. But um, here is this month's charm. And sure, at first it looks a little weird, but because the theme is Unity, technically it's two cell phone charms in one. So they kind of connect together. Or you can separate uh, one and give it to like a friend or family member, it says. So let me just open this up so you get a better view of it. Design-wise, I'm not like a huge fan of it. What is these like leaves? Like phoenix wings, kind of? I guess. I don't know. Um... But I am a fan of the design of them fitting together. They kind of go together like this. Can you guys see? It looks a little awkward because they're still in plastic. But I do like the idea of it. You know, two charms that kind of fit together. Oh, really cute. And they have like this nice gold tone to them. Um, on the back it just says Loot Anime. And the symbol. 
so yeah pretty cool charms. okay and next up and I just want to say, guys, uh, apologize for any noise from outside. Since it's so hot out, everyone in the neighborhood seems to be outside right now. Um, but anyway, so up next, following the poster, we have... Ta-da! This plush um, Chico's animal from the anime The Boy and the Beast. I believe that's the name of it. Yeah, The Boy and the Beast. I'm not familiar with this at all. It is pretty cute. Kind of small, though. You see my hand, like palm of my hand. That's the size of this plush, but it's pretty adorable for something that's just a big, I mean, a little pillow with eyes. So, yeah, the Boy and the Beast Chico plush. I am familiar with what these characters look like. I've seen posters from the series, but other than that, I have no idea. Um, I don't know if you guys think it's good. If it's not, if I should watch it. If not, you know, you can let me know in the comments and maybe I'll check it out. But uh, this little animal thing is really, really cute. Really adorable, and the plush is actually really soft. Soft little pillow. Not sure what I would do with it because it's just a bean-shaped pillow. Yeah, pretty small, not even really to lay your head on it. But, um, yeah, it'll sit cute in the corner. Okay, and next up we have, you kind of already glimpsed it, is this month's t-shirt from the box. And it's red, so that means, yep, yokai watch, guys. It's a replica of um, Nate's t-shirt from the series. If anyone's familiar with the anime in the game, you can see the sleeve here, the white edging, and a big giant white star on it. But other than that, it's just a plain red t-shirt with just those features, but it's instantly recognizable if you're familiar with the series, which I love Yokai Watch, the game, and I think the anime is pretty cute. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this one. Really adorable. Like I said, there's the sleeve again. Nothing's on the back, but white star in the middle. Yep, and I'll hold that up for you guys also and take a picture of it. Okay, guys, up next we have what I was so excited about straight out the box, and it is, ta-da, Funko Pop Dragon Ball Z Loot Crate exclusive variant of Super Saiyan Goku. Now, they have other Super Saiyan Goku Pops out, but as you can see, this one has like metallic look all over it which I love I love Goku the most from Dragon Ball Z and as we all know I am also um, a Funko Pop collector for the most part um so yeah I love Goku and I love this pop isn't it so cute ironically even though I collect pops and I love Goku I always eyed the one that was already out the other Super Saiyan Goku but never got it so I'm glad I kind of didn't because I wouldn't want two of them but now I have this metallic variant which looks, looks awesome I do love his hair look at that from the side you can see his muscles can you see that right there yeah really cool here's the back to show others from the series like I saying here was the original Super Saiyan Goku pop that's non-metallic and all the others um I don't have any of the others I do have um a Funimation exclusive of the pink haired Goku which is really cute so yeah now I have this one to go with it this is what I'm most excited about guys really awesome that they included this with the box okay guys and next up we have I'm not even sure how to introduce this one. You just have to see. But it's Tada from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the Transmutation Circle Doormat. That's right, guys. Loot Anime actually gave us a rug. Mm hmm. A rug. And it's actually pretty cute. Um, let me see about opening this up for you guys. Or maybe I'll just try to show you off the but poster. But here's the full transmutation circle from um, Full Alchemist Brotherhood. And this is the doormat. So it's pretty cool. Um, unless people you know are into anime or that kind of thing or know about Full Metal Alchemist, it would be kind of funny, anyone visiting your home, to step up onto that um, doormat of the circle. Yeah, I'm sure they'll give a few looks about that. But it is a pretty cool design. Definitely unique. Never thought I would get a rug in um, a loot anime subscription box or any subscription box, but it is pretty cute. Like I said, definitely unique and definitely surprising. So yeah, I actually kind of okay, like that. Okay, well I wasn't gonna take it out of the plastic because there's like a was like a ton of tape on there and um, it just was hectic. But I decided to just take it out so you can guys can see how vibrant the colors are on this rug. Um, it's pretty rough, like a rough weave, even though it's pretty thin. 
for a rug but I mean again it's a doormat it does have like rubber backing if you guys care about that sort of thing and um, yeah I know I couldn't get it fully into the camera based on my setup but yep pretty authentic to what was shown so pretty cool idea it's not that big uh, I'll try holding it up for you guys and taking a picture just to show you the dimension wise but you know if you guys seen a typical doormat it's about that size so not bad at all pretty cool idea like I said there it is um, but yeah final thoughts on this box and I have to say I'm pretty happy not that I really love everything it's just weird every item was so unique that all together it just kind of works I mean the the themes don't really quite match Dragon Ball Z with Yokai watch with Full Metal Alchemist what but the pieces were so unique and so surprising that I actually did kind of like it in the box this month so I am keeping my fingers crossed that next month's box will be great also now that Crunchyroll is in on the deal so yeah I love the pop that's my favorite part being a pop collector um, for those who aren't pop collectors you may love it you may hate it but hey at least you can get a good price for it on eBay um, t-shirt wise like I said I love yokai watch and the t-shirt is different so I think it's pretty cute even though I have a ton of t-shirts from these subscription boxes um, so I'm not sure when I'll ever get a chance to wear it um, as for the full out metal alchemist rug that's pretty cute too like I said definitely unique and definitely shocking to visitors in your home if they've never seen anything about the anime or deal with that at all so um, yeah I think it's pretty cool um, I don't know if I would use it as it doesn't really go with the decor I have in my home but um, yeah like I said I do kind of like it so overall um, yeah this plush I don't know what I'm gonna do with that um, but overall, I think the box is pretty decent. It's a little something for everyone. If you don't like one item, there's something else for you to like. And like I said, even if you hate anything in the box, all the items will bet you a decent price on eBay. So yeah, that's it guys. Final score from out of a 10, I give this box a 7, 7.5. Yeah, I give it that decent range. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this did not bore you at all. But that's it. Bye.